Julie from the Lifestyle website, julieblanner.com, where I share easy ideas for entertaining, home decor, and so much more. Today we're here near Branson, Missouri on Table Rock Lake at our lake cottage, which I lovingly named Calm Water Cottage because we're at the end of a quiet, quiet cove. And we love it so much here, so I'm so excited to share it with you. This is our breakfast nook that is just off of our kitchen. Now we have changed a lot in this space since we moved in. However, a lot of the elements still remain the same. So it was really easy and inexpensive to transition. Lots of beautiful budget friendly ideas mixed with a few high end pieces. One of my favorite things in a home is lighting. Lighting is one of the few things that stays with the home should you move. So it also increases resale value. And it's kind of like a focal point, the centerpiece of a space. So that is of course one of the first things that I look to do. And we replaced an 80s, 90s, I guess it was 90s because that's the year the home was built, a 90s glass light fixture with this beautiful gilded gold fixture and silk shades. It's small, which is perfect for the space because the space is a little bit on the small side and serves multiple functions and it coordinates with our living room chandelier. One of the other things that we did that you'll notice is we removed the wallpaper. It was so busy, it was dated, it was time to go. Doing so really added a lot of light to the space. I always look for a paint with a high LRV and that's light reflective value. That way, when the sun hits it, it reflects back and makes the space appear larger. I also like to use an eggshell paint. This is Faro and Ball White Tie, and I really love it because it's so cheerful. You can learn more about it on my website, and I'll link to the paint color below. A few other elements that we mixed up in here is this is our laundry cabinet, and it has to serve that function, so we need to make it really easy to get in and out of. And we had some dated knobs. These are just like a $4 Amazon fix and they actually look really up to date and fresh and it took about five minutes to change them out. So quick fix, really inexpensive and brought them up to date. Um, one of my favorite things to do in a space is to bring the outdoors in and we did that by adding this teak table. This teak table is really strong, really heavy so it can withstand a lot. We currently have it set to seat six but it can accommodate up to eight which is really great as you're entertaining people we have another family down for the weekend, but it still allows plenty of room to walk to and from. Now I really loved some chairs that I found at Serena and Lily. I fell in love with them. I believe they're called the Tucker chair. Unfortunately, the price did not love me. This is our lake cottage, so things are often a little more budget friendly. Down here, I just can't justify spending a couple hundred dollars on each chair. So I always look for knockoffs, something really similar. And I found these and I think they were two for $135. So a fraction of the price with the same style. And I love them because they're really comfortable to sit in. The mixing of the two, mixing wood with the white really gives some balance to the room. And I accessorized it with this Target and Vineyard Vines collaboration. I love a tray for a table because you can add napkins, utensils, everything else that you might need, maybe a pitcher of water. But when it's not in use, you can use it as a decorative piece, as I've done here. This base was just from Home Goods, and I added some hydrangea from my garden, a candle, which I plan to burn this evening, and my little snifter. It's so simple, but yet so beautiful and functional as well. For art in this space, I use two different budget-friendly options. One are these sailboat watercolors, and I found those in an estate sale in our neighborhood. The seller was related to this woman, I think, believe it was his aunt, and she had sketchbook after sketchbook of pictures, and I bought a sketchbook for a dollar. And so these were really inexpensive to frame. I just selected frames from Amazon, which I'll link to below, I believe they were about $20 a piece. So for $42, I had two pieces of art. And then this frame is from Target, which I'll also link to below. And it's a picture of the bridge at Table Rock just across the way from us. 
And what's really neat about it is, is it's buried under about 150 feet of water. And so above you'll see the new bridge that they built when they dammed the lake, and below you'll see the existing bridge that flooded out season after season, which is why we have a beautiful Table Rock Lake. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of our breakfast snook. For more easy ideas, don't forget to click subscribe. I look forward to seeing you again soon for another room tour.